All right, today's patient is a 2007 Toyota Corolla, 1.8 liter. Finishing up the test drive after performing the repair, everything is going really good now. The complaints were some erratic, undesired acceleration, erratic performance of the temperature gauge, bouncing up and down, not making any sense. We also had a check engine light. Uh, that might be back for a catalyst, but we don't have emissions inspections here in South Carolina, so they will probably just let that one go. But we also had codes P0125 and P0118. And these are associated with the coolant temperature sensor. Live data was showing negative 40 degrees. And it's summer in South Carolina, so it is not negative 40 degrees out right now. That was incorrect. So signs so far point to coolant temperature sensor. And I came prepared to uh, to replace that and come to find out that is not the issue. I, I took the new sensor and I just plugged it into the old connector real quick just to test if that, uh, if that caused it to at least give a rational signal. Um, a new sensor, even if it's not installed in the motor, should, should give something, you know, approximating ambient temperature. Uh, that is not what happened. We were still pegged at negative 40 with the new sensor plugged in just dangling around there. And I want to get under the hood here with you and show you what the problem actually was. And I'm, I'm really expecting that we'll see more issues with these coolant temperature sensor signals um, and possibly even other erratic electrical issues on this generation of Corolla with this motor as they age and get up there in miles and, and engine run time. I haven't seen uh, anybody else talking about this yet, but I am sure that it will start popping up. So let's get under the hood and see what we found. Bear with me here. This has been just gently bumped in the front prior to this, so getting the hood open is a little bit of work. All right, let me grab the old, uh, another Toyota here. This one doesn't give me any trouble. But this came off of the engine cover. I, I cut it off, I removed it, we're done with it. I wasn't gonna take off the whole engine cover um, without the customer's permission. I'm not a big fan of them. I, I think the engine could do without it. But uh, it looks nice and sometimes for resale, it's nice to have everything looking good. This mark right here, is where this cover was very, very slowly, over years and years, engine vibration was causing it to wear through this wire harness and particularly through the connector to the coolant temperature sensor. Coolant temperature sensor is way down, way down there if you do wind up having to replace it. It's directly to the right of where that radiator hose plugs into the, uh, into the motor there. Not too hard to get to. But in this case, we didn't even have to replace that. One of these wires was completely severed down here where it came out of the, uh, out of the wiring harness. And the wiring harness itself was actually wore through in the other wire. And depending on how these wires are, are bundled together, I mean, it could have been other wires too. We could have had fuel injection issues, running rough, emissions issues, who knows what else could have been, um, whatever is running through this wiring harness. Wires there could have been wore through over time. If it wasn't this, it was gonna be something else. And, and that, that's why I'm, I'm, I'm making this really. Um, it may not even be specific to this uh, coolant temperature sensor. If you have any kind of wacky, erratic electrical issues with this generation of Corolla, um, I would recommend starting here. Start with this engine cover. See if there's any damage to this harness to uh, any of the connectors coming out of there. That was it for this. That was our um, unintended acceleration. The, some Toyotas have been known for unintended acceleration issues. This is not one of them. So that was, that, that was immediately uh, tripping me up a little bit when, uh, when the customer first told me about this because it doesn't, um, th this doesn't match <laughs> that, that particular issue. This isn't supposed to have that. 
Um, it was all from this coolant temperature sensor. I'm, I'm guessing the, the irrational signal was causing the motor to dump extra fuel or something like that. It, it, it was just responding to it in a, a very poor way, giving a little bit of extra acceleration when it shouldn't, thinking that it needs to you know, keep itself alive in the cold. And that just wasn't the case. So repair these wires. I do recommend using, um, I don't recommend twisting up the wires and, and using tape on them. That's not the best way to do that. If you've got to do that, try to get some high quality tape like the Scotch uh, Super 33. Um, something that's going to last at least, not something that's going to shrivel up and fall off in, you know, two, three, five years. But I, I, I really prefer um, using these heat shrink butt connectors. They're, they're weather resistant. They're mechanically a lot more sound than just twisting up the wires. There is a right, you know, right, so to speak, way to do it. Um, that, that can be okay, but really I, I prefer to just, just do it right. <laughs> do it with these. It'll be a, a permanent fix, at least permanent for the rest of the life of the vehicle, more than likely. And then I, I'd say cut this off, or if it's your own vehicle, you're keeping it forever, you can just take off the whole engine cover. I don't think there's an issue with that. But in any case, get rid of this so it's not rubbing against here. The wiring harness seems to be in the correct spot. I don't think anybody's moved this or, uh, or done anything to cause this uh, that, that wasn't this way from the factory or anything. This clip is secure. It's holding it decently tight. The clips up front are secure underneath the, underneath the cover here. Everything seems like it's where it's supposed to be. I think this was just a very, very slow wearing away of this insulation in this jacket over time probably been been going on very slowly for the whole life of the vehicle and uh, like I said we'll probably see a lot more of these popping up in the uh, in the future as these cars get older and that plastic finally starts to wear through that insulation you kind of can see all kinds of issues here not a hard fix not hard at all um, just pop off the engine cover pop off the snorkel to give yourself a little more working room you know un unhook this these hoses are easy all that kind of stuff you might have to unhook the breathers but really easy repair, really easy to do it right even. And that completely solved all of those problems. Our temperature gauge is normal now. Temperature readings through the, uh, through the scan tool are normal. Computer's all happy. No crazy acceleration or revving up at idle or anything like that. It, it's just good to go. This, this drives beautifully now. It's a cheap and easy repair. Didn't even need to drain the coolant. Um, so yeah, hopefully, Hopefully that helps you with your, uh, with your coolant temperature sensors slash other wacky electrical issues on here. That is it. We're going to hand it back to the customer and get paid and be done with that. All right. If you have any questions about this, uh, pop me a comment down below and we'll see if we can get it figured out. Have a good one.